Hi, this is Patrick. Let's travel to Hoodley in Alberta, Canada. Population 2024 estimate 16,087. Official language English. Join me in exploring further the gorgeous city of Cold Lake, Alberta, Canada. Cold Lake is a city in East Central Alberta, Canada, named after the nearby lake of the same name. It's known for the Canadian Forces Base Cold Lake, CFP Cold Lake, which is situated within the city's outer limits. The city was formed by merging the town of Grand Santa, the town of Cold Lake, and Midway CFB Cold Lake on October 1, 1996. The area is part of Alberta's Lakeland District and is located about 300 kilometers northeast of Edmonton near the Alberta-Saskatchewan provincial border. The surrounding region is mostly farmland and sparsely populated. As for the climate, Cold Lake experiences a human continental climate with warm summers cool nights and very cold winters with moderate snowfall. The lake itself is a large body of water, straddling the Alberta-Saskatchewan border with a water area of 373 square kilometers and a maximum depth of 200.1 meters. It is one of the deepest lakes in Alberta and is home to around 24 known species of fish, making it a popular spot for ice fishing. The history of Cold Lake, Alberta, Canada is quite rich and diverse. The area was first recorded on a map in 1790 by the name of Coldwater Lake. The modern city of Cold Lake was formed on October 1, 1996 by emerging three communities, the town of Grand Center, the town of Cold Lake, and Midway Canadian Forces Base Cold Lake. Grand Center was renamed Cold Lake South, and the original Cold Lake is known as a Cold Lake North. The region is known for its First Nation and Métis cultures, and many settlers and their families have made their lives in Northeast Alberta over the years. In 1980, the Historical Society of Cold Lake and District published a book called Pressured Scales of the Kinuso, which contains collections and stores of the settlers. A tourist boom occurred between 1920 and 1930, with many influential people shaping Cold Lake during this time as promoters of fishing and tourism in the north. For instance, in 1920, Jim Holohan moved to the lakeland, believing that Cold Lake had a potential for tourism. He built several guest units next to the lake shore and began promoting the area with the Cold Lake Beach pennants and postcards. For those interested in a more in-depth look into the history of Cold Lake, the Cold Lake Museums offer a glimpse into what life was like in simpler but tougher times, with well-kept galleries and amazing pictures. The early industries in the Cold Lake area were primarily centered around the oil sands and coal mining. The history of the Canadian oil sands industry dates back to the early 1700s when local First Nations communities would boil the oil sands to extract bitumen, which was used to waterproof canoes. In the 20th century, significant advancements were made in bitumen extraction methods, leading to the commercial development of the oil sands. Imperial oil began production at its Cold Lake Lemming pilot in 1975, and the Cold Lake facility was commercialized in 1985 using cyclic steam stimulation, or CSS, which became the mainstay of the Imperial's giant oil sands project near Cold Lake. The growth of the coal industry in Alberta in the late 19th and early 20th centuries was part of a larger program of a national economic development. Coal mining in Alberta began in the final decades of the 1800s and expanded after the arrival of the railroad. This industry played a significant role in the early economic development of the region. These industries were crucial in shaping the economic landscape of Cold Lake 
and contributed to the development and growth of the area. What other industries emerged later on? Following the early development of oil sands and gold mining, other industries that emerged in Cold Lake Alberta include first commercial concrete services. Superior Industries Incorporated is an example of commercial concrete contractor serving the Cold Lake area providing services such as concrete forming, building and repairing curbs, gutters, and concrete trenches. Environmental Innovation The Cold Lake Oil Sands Operation, one of the largest thermal in situ operations in the world, has been a leader in environmental innovation. For example, Imperia Oil's Cold Lake Operation has developed technologies like the laser to reduce the use of steam, water, and energy thereby reducing greenhouse gas intensity. Research and Development The area has seen advancements in research and development, particularly in improving extraction techniques for oil sands. This includes testing next-generation technologies that further reduce water and energy use. Renewable Energy There is a growing focus on renewable energy sources and advanced recycling including projects for renewable diesel and lithium extraction. These industries reflect the region's ongoing commitment to innovation and sustainable development, building upon its historical economic foundations. The question is, are there any educational institutions or research centers in the area? Yes, Gold Lake, Alberta, Canada is home to several educational institutions and research centers. We have the Portage College Colde Campus. This campus offers a variety of educational programs and is located in the Cold Lake Energy Center. It is the second largest campus of Portage College and provides students with hands-on learning experiences in a scenic setting. Cold Lake High School Serving over 500 students in grades 10 to 12, Gold Lake High School offers a wide range of academic programs and is an integral part of the community educational infrastructure. Gold Lake Outward School, part of the Northern Lights Public Schools, this school delivers the Alberta High School curriculum in an alternative setting for grades 10 to 12. It offers a full academic curriculum along with dynamic option courses and is known for its flexible and supportive educational environment. These institutions play a significant role in the educational landscape of Cold Lake, providing opportunities for learning and development to the residents and surrounding communities. Please stay tuned and please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, please do not skip all the advertisements being shown by the YouTube. Thank you. Do you think it's safe to live in Cold Lake, Alberta, Canada? Well, safety is a common concern when considering a place to live. In Cold Lake, Alberta, like in a city, there are safety considerations to keep in mind. According to a report by MacLean's, Cold Lake was ranked 33rd in terms of violent crime in Canada. The city has seen various crime rates, including assaults and drug trafficking which have been their areas of focus for local law enforcement. However, it is important to note that safety can vary greatly depending on the specific area within the city and the measures taken by residents to protect themselves and their property. The local government and police force are actively working to improve safety and reduce crime. For instance, the city has funded more police for undercover work leading to more arrests and charges. For a more personal perspective on safety in Cold Lake, it would be beneficial to speak with local residents or law enforcement for the most current information and to get a sense of the community efforts to maintain a safe environment. What safety measures are in place? In Cold Lake, Alberta, several safety measures are in place to ensure the well-being of its residents.
This is Canadian Forces Base Coldlay. Canadian Forces Base Coldlay, commonly referred to as CFP Coldlay, is a significant military base located in the city of Cold Lake, Alberta, Canada. It operates as an Air Force base under the Royal Canadian Air Force or RCAF and is known for being the home of Four Wing Cold Lake, which is the busiest fighter base in Canada. Here are some key points about CFP Cold Lake. Four Wing Cold Lake This wing provides general purpose, motor role, combat capable forces in support of domestic and international roles of Canada's Air Force. It hosts Canada's world-class tactical fighter force. Training and supports fighter aircraft deployment of a moment's notice. Air Weapons Range The base is approximately 35 kilometers south of the Cold Lake Air Weapons Range, or CLAWR, which serves as a practice ground of CFB Cold Lake fighter pilots. The range is equipped with a state of the art threats and targets, making it an ideal location for exercises like the annual Maple Flag Exercise, which draws international participation. Operational Squadrons CFP Cold Lake houses two operational CF Plus 8 squadrons and two training squadrons, among other premier support units. It is one of two bases in the country housing the CF Plus 8 Hornet Fighter, the other being CFB Bagotville. Historical Context Construction of what would become RCAF Station Cold Lake began in 1952 during the Cold War. The base was chosen for its factors such as low population density, accessibility, weather, suitable terrain, and available lawn for air weapons training. It has since become a vital home for fighter pilot training and operational readiness. In summary, CFB Cold Lake plays a crucial role in Canada's air defense and training, and its strategic location contributes to significance as a fighter base. What aircraft are stationed at CFB Cold Lake? At CFB Cold Lake, the following aircraft and units are currently stationed. 409 Tactical Fighter Squadron operates the CF-18 Hornet, a multi-role fighter aircraft. 410 Tactical Fighter Operational Training Squadron also operates the CF-18 Hornet for training purposes. 417 Combat Support Squadron utilizes the CH-146 Griffon, a utility helicopter. 419 Tactical Fighter Training Squadron uses the CD-155 Hawk for advanced pilot training. These units and aircraft play a vital role in the defense capabilities and training operations of the Royal Canadian Air Force. You are looking at McDonnell CF-101B Budo with serial number 101056. This aircraft is an all-weather interceptor aircraft operated by the Royal Canadian Air Force or RCAF and the Canadian Forces between 1961 and 1984. It was developed by the McDonnell Aircraft Corporation in St. Louis, Missouri for the United States Air Force as F-101S. Later, this aircraft was sold to Canada to replace the obsolete Avro CF-100 Canuck in the RCAF's all-weather fighter squadrons. You are looking at the Avro CF-100 Canuck MK5 with serial number 18761. The Avro Canada CF-100 Canuck MK5 with serial number 18761 was a remarkable Canadian twin jet interceptor fighter designed and produced by Avro Canada. Here are some key details about this iconic aircraft. Background and Development Work on the CF-100 Canuck commenced in October 1946 in response to the Royal Canadian Air Force or RCAF specification. 
The goal was to create a new jet-powered interceptor fighter suitable for long-distance patrol missions and all-weather operations. Please stay tuned for more and please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And please do not skip any of the advertisements. Thank you. Do you know that the CF-100 Canoe remains a significant part of Canada's aviation history and a testament to its indigenous military aviation industry? The CF-100 primarily served with the Royal Canadian Air Force and Canadian Armed Forces. It was also procured in small numbers by Belgium to equip the built-in air component. Deployed during the Cold War, the CF-100 operated at both NATO bases in Europe and in North America as part of North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD. Besides frontline squadrons, it was used by operational training units and for secondary duties like aerial reconnaissance and electron warfare. Legacy and Retirement The advanced derivative Abro Canada CF-103 with a swept wing and transonic speeds was in development but was ultimately terminated. Further development concepts led to the famous Abro Canada CF-105 Aero. In 1981, all remaining RCAF CF-100s were withdrawn from service succeeded in the electronic warfare role with the CZ-117 Falcon. The CF-100 Canuck remains a significant part of Canada's aviation history and a testament to its indigenous military aviation industry. I would like to thank the people of Cold Lake, Alberta, Canada. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much to our videographer, Rick and Lynn Fries. And you see that there's another aircraft there. It's everywhere, you know. All right, let's keep driving. Special thanks to all my viewers and my subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, by the way, I have a story. I watched the Miss Universe Philippines and I'd like to congratulate the winner. It's uh, from Bulacan. She's really stunning. She's beautiful. She's a Barbie. She, she looks like a Barbie. Do you know that? I truly understand that other people are routing for some contestants like uh, somebody coming from their own uh, place, province, but mm, at the end of the day, the winner is a Filipina so whatever is the result we have to respect it so we just have to support whoever is the winner right but anyway <laughs> please stay tuned and please do not forget to comment like and subscribe thank you you know Cold Lake is a city located in northeastern Alberta Canada it lies approximately 300 kilometers or 186 miles northeast of Edmonton the provincial capital the city is situated near the southern shore of Cold Lake, which is a large deep lake known for its clear waters and recreational opportunities. Somebody has just donated a stabilizer for my camera. <laughs> Thank you so much to Sharon. Well, the military significance. Canadian Forces Base Cold Lake or CFB Cold Lake, also known as Four Wing Cold Lake is a significant fighter base located in the vicinity of Cold Lake. 
CFB Cold Lake plays a crucial role in Canada's air defense and training. It is one of two bases in Canada housing the CFD's 1-8 Hornet fighter aircraft. The base hosts the annual Maple Flag Exercise with strong international participation and focuses on air combat training. Cold Lake has a rich aviation history. It was chosen as a site for CFP Cold Lake due to the factors or two factors such as low population density, accessibility, suitable terrain, and available lawn for air weapons training. The base has been a hub for fighter pilot training, operational readiness, and air defense. Beyond its military significance, Cold Lake is surrounded by natural beauty. The pristine waters of Cold Lake offer opportunities for boating, fishing, and other water-based activities. The region is known for its scenic landscapes, including boreal forest, rolling hills, and wildlife. The city of Cold Lake has a vibrant community, with a mix of military personnel, civilians, and indigenous residents. Cultural events, festivals, and recreational facilities contribute to the quality of life in the area. In summary, Cold Lake is a unique blend of military importance, natural beauty, and community spirit. Whether you're interested in aviation, outdoor adventures, or local culture, Cold Lake has something to offer! Please stay tuned for more, and please not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you! This is still part of Canadian Forces Base.
This is beautiful. That house over there. But actually, the house is so beautiful. We're nearly done. Alright, guys, please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Finally we are done guys, thank you so much for watching, I will see you on my next video. Again thank you so much for watching, bye bye.